First question, no. <laughs> the magnetic compass points to the Earth's magnetic poles, which aren't the same as the geographic poles. The north end of the magnetic po points to the magnetic south pole. The magnetic south pole lies 10 degrees distant from the geographic north pole. So, the magnetic compass points in the Arctic Ocean north of Alaska. The magnetic field around a current carrying wire always makes concentric rings around the wire. This pencil represents a current carrying wire. To find the direction of the magnetic field around a straight wire, wrap your right hand around the wire so that your thumb stretches along the wire in the direction of the current. The direction your fingers wrap around the wire indicates the direction of the magnetic field around the wire. Your thumb indicates current direction, and your fingers indicate magnetic field direction. A solenoid is a coil of wire that has current running through it. To find the direction of the magnetic field inside the coil of wire of a solenoid, wrap your hand around the coil so that your fingers are going in the same direction as the current flowing through the wire in the coil. The arrows represent the direction of current flow. Laying your thumb along the coil will indicate the direction of the magnetic field inside the coil. Your thumb will also point to the end of the electromagnet that is its north pole. The third right hand rule indicates the direction of the induced current in the wire as it is moved through the magnetic field. To determine the direction the force will push a current carrying wire, use this right hand rule. Place your hand so that it looks like this. Your thumb indicates the direction of the current in the wire. Your fingers indicate the direction of the magnetic field that is going to be pushing the wire. The force that pushes the wire is directed straight out of your palm. In an electric motor, the motion and magnetic field exist, and they lead to the creation of the electric current, so this right hand rule is used. For a single bar magnet, the arrows are always pointing towards south. Similarly, with the two bar magnets with opposite poles, the arrows are always pointing south. For the two bars with like poles, such as this with the two north poles, the arrows are always pointing away from the other magnet. And for the horseshoe magnet, the arrows are again always pointing south, and for the north, the other ones are going out. Electromagnetic induction is the principle that looks at the generation of electric energy by using a changing magnetic field around a conductor. It also occurs when the intensity of a magnetic field varies over time. The current created by a changing magnetic field or by moving a wire across a magnetic field is referred to as induced current and the potential difference created is referred to as induced EMF. The AC generator uses the laws of induction and consists of a coil of wire rotating a magnetic field. As the coil rotates it cuts the magnetic flux, generating an EMF similar to electromagnetic induction. If an electron enters a uniform magnetic field perpendicular to the field lines, it will follow a circular path in the plane perpendicular to the magnetic field lines. This is because the magnetic force is always directed towards the center of the circle, therefore the path will be perpendicular to the arrows going towards the center of the circle.